Hello there. The Labour Party shadow chancellor, Annalise Dodds, wants a wealth tax introduced if the pandemic economic recovery falters. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. There used to be a saying in the British Army. Maybe it's still there. And that saying is, if it moves, salute it. If it doesn't move, paint it white. And the Labour Party seems to have its own version of this. If it moves, tax it. If it doesn't move, give it a grant. And the Labour Party shadow chancellor that most people have never heard of, Annalise Dodds, has come straight out of the starting gate, saying that without a post-pandemic economic growth, the government should be taxing the wealthiest to fund any recovery. But her plan is totally non-specific, other than to go and find rich people and tax them. She doesn't want to return to austerity and also doesn't want to see low and middle earners pay any more tax. So it seems it's down to some wealthy people to do it. Talking on the BBC Andrew Marr show, she said, My view is, if we do need to see an increased tax take, we shouldn't see it coming from those low and middle income people. Instead, we should have a focus on the very best off people. We have seen a rise in income and wealth inequality in recent years, and I think that those with the broadest shoulders should be bearing more of a contribution if that contribution is needed. But we've got to be clear, that would only be needed if we are not growing our way out of this crisis. And talking to Sky's Sophie Ridge programme, Dodds was asked to spell out her intentions and she replied... On the issue of taxation, we have been through an enormous sacrifice and the lowest paid people have delivered for the country. We shouldn't see generalised tax rises across the whole population. That would be wrong. Instead, the additional funds should come from those with the broadest shoulders. But she wouldn't commit to saying how that tax would be applied. And in the end, the interviewer was forced to say... I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm struggling to find out what you mean by these plans. Now, I'm not sure that Annalise Dodds knows the answer to that either. But I would guess that with Labour, thoughts of higher taxes for the wealthy are never very far away anyway. Now, according to the Institute for Fiscal Studies, the IFS, the targets for tax hikes for wealthy people could be their pension pots, stocks and shares holdings, property and works of art. And there had been talk back in February of the Chancellor possibly gearing up for a raid on final salary pension pots by altering the contributions tax relief available. And that kite has been flown again very recently. Now the Chancellor is due to make his summer statement this week and according to ftadvisor.com, there has been growing speculation that the Chancellor could implement a levy on personal wealth to boost the UK's finances and buffer the economy against the impact of the pandemic. According to law firm Charles Russell Speechless, HM Treasury has approached certain private banks and wealth managers to discuss the concept of a wealth tax. And this could take the form of a one-off or even an ongoing levy on assets. And as ever with tax, once used or in place, it would never, ever be removed. So assets bought with taxed income would then be taxed as well, a double whammy. And many of these people with, say, large houses may be asset-rich and cash-poor, possibly forcing them to sell and move to smaller premises. Just what a socialist would love to see. But there is also talk that Sunak wants to bolster the housing market by temporarily raising the stamp duty land tax threshold to take thousands of house buyers out of the payment bracket. 
The trouble with that is it will entice sellers to raise their prices to soak up that otherwise spare cash into their own pockets. Alternatively, it will allow buyers to step up and buy a more expensive house than they would otherwise afford. Or maybe not to haggle as much. Either way, it will pour more money into the housing market, so keeping it as buoyant as it can be in the circumstances. And keep the banks afloat, which is of a lot more interest to the government. At the end of the day, someone's got to pay. So it looks like, in the current climate, it will be the wealthiest being targeted first. But when they find out that that isn't going to fill the hole, the government will have to lower its sights to the middle earners next. Then in time, all of us will be swept up for paying more. And it looks like, if you're rich, it's not just the Labour Party after your money. In the end, there's always a sort of inevitability about tax, isn't there? Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think all about this tax stuff? Please share and comment, and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.